some of the pictures of things you can do. You know, it, it is a petroleum-based product. Uh, and this is a picture of some of the different items. The one we brought to the show is the next slide. This is the one we're really excited about. Uh, if you go to the next one, please. So this is the Echo Bin. We're doing this out of our polypropylene carpet backing and then some of our polypropylene. Um, it's a really, really cool item. You know, I mean, our real pitch here today is we want your carpet, and this is what we can make it into. You know, something that you guys can understand and has a good market use. So it's a, it is a polypropylene four yard dumpster. Um, I mean, our ideal thing would be to work with communities to get your carpet and work to try and get some of these spec out into the community. It's a really nice dumpster. It is cost competitive with the metal dumpsters. Um, it's got some really innovative structural foam technology. You can see the picture right here. It actually has sort of a nitrogen uh, dispersion that really gives it almost like an aircraft wing of strength and rigidity to it. So stop by the booth. We'd love to, to show it to you. We're really proud of it. It really gives us a plan going forward. Uh, let's see, next one. So takeaway. You know, we're doing about 10% is what we figure in the MSA market and about 6% of all carbon. That's about what we're able to pull out of waste stream right now. Um, we are really pushing regional recycling and advocating local job creation in what we're doing. The barriers, curbside. I, we're running short. I've got the Stanley Steamer commercial. I don't know if you guys have seen that one where the guy's rolling down the street and he, you know, he sees the other thing and he starts crying. We could have saved that one. That's how we view it. <laughs> you know, we could say that. We don't need to just leave this on the curbside. We need your guys' help to get it off. Uh, the PET, that it is the 800 pound gorilla, or back end of the elephant, I think is even better. Uh, creating these networks. You know, what we're trying to work with you guys on is public private partnerships, public partnerships. If you have the ability within your areas to have some type of a collection of, that we can drive the consumers to to fill trailers is really what we want. Uh, specifying the city contract version, you know, tipping fees for us. Toshi who develops our uh, bins. He's out in California. What, what's the tipping fees out like? Hundreds of dollars? Just touching a hundred dollars. You know, and, and they get much better recycling and diversion. It's been so cheap to just throw this stuff in the garbage. That's what they're doing. Right next door to us in uh, Arizona is free. Yes, yeah. zero. So how do you compete? Bottom line, we have the technology in place. You know, we we can raise the current diversion rate from 10 percent to 50 to 60 percent. Access to the raw materials. California is currently at about 55 percent. Is what care is showing. So it can be done. You know, in Illinois, what California has done was significant tipping fees. They've also done, you know, their 83, 2098 laws, which incentivize recycling. And we are all mixed on that. Our biggest thing on that is the PET out of the way that entrepreneurs can do. <coughs> so that's really all, all I do.
unless somebody can come up with compatibilizers that will allow those two polymers to make a product. Sorry. So the PET is right, these bottles, right. you know, is really what it is. And the cost of this fiber is 60, 70 cents, would you say, Toshi, for a PET fiber? PET fiber. Well, PET. Mature. 60 cents. Actually, PET is been on the rise. Okay. PET as a raw material in the last four months alone is at nearly a 20% price. Okay. <laughs>
you know, from all the different models that you've started to discuss here, I mean, there's lots of options. Is there a way that you can get the economics to work and, you know, get government to do, whether it's the bans at the curb, or do you, do you think there's a combination here of, like, what would, have you thought through that as a care board, as the care board, I guess? Or is that still the flux? The competing agenda is that we can't come to a conclusion. You know, recyclers will say there's not enough value in that item for us to, you know, we bring it back. It's just not enough cost to process it. So. Yes, sir. Uh, and Nick, we'll, we'll talk definitely uh, at lunch on my motor with the uh, DCEO. Um, but from the, the standpoint of the types of programs that we operate, um, you know, is, is the barrier, is it, is it more the science, is it more coming up with a model, um, is it the technology, is it the market side, and we'll, we'll, we can talk more in detail about that, but that's what I'm sitting here listening to. I mean, from the standpoint, the standpoint of our programs and the things that we can do in terms of providing grants and financial incentives. Um, it's really what we're at. You know, from a business standpoint, as opposed to the organizational standpoint. Anyway, we can talk about that. Okay, wonderful. You know, we left it as a group. We will innovate our way out of this. I mean, that's just what we do in this country. It's weird. We innovate our way out of this. As the guys in the field right now, we are just struggling with the value of the power. But, you know, some of these commerce things and some of these other fascinating technologies with wastewater as well, what we need. We're little guys, you know, we need some help. Uh, we've got the ideas from the groups. It's now how do we get the infrastructure, because we can use it for filtration in wastewater, some of these some of these carpets. We can use it in bins. There's other things we can do. It's just a little help. Yeah, we, we've invested in, you know, go green uh, on the collection side of this. If there's uh, opportunities in terms of the technology, demonstration projects or implementing improvement technology, you know, that's again where we can be involved. Can we hold off make sure I would be there to see I mean, I, I have a lot of similar things. You're not like, your I'm not <laughs> Thank you. 